Hello everyone, how's it going? Good evening. Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Stardew Valley, shall we? It is Tuesday, day two of year two. And oh boy, we have some things to do. So we finished the first year, we did pretty well. Um, this is the furthest I've ever made it in the game, so I'm really excited to see how it all shakes loose. I have about 10,000 right now, and I planted a bunch of crops, and I want to make sure the sprinkler setup is going. I still have more sprinklers to place and more crops to plant. I've got a bunch more sap ready to go to make fertilizer to discontinue the dream. So, let's get out of bed and make this day magical, shall we? Okay. So, we got some mail. Dr. Incompetent, I am now selling higher quality fertilizers as well as new crop selections. See you soon, Pierre. Excellent. Alright. Well, good. Okay. So, this is what we've planted so far. And basically what we did was we did a row of beans, and then a row of cauliflower, and then a row of beans. Um, because, you know, you want to be able to harvest everything. So, I'm going to continue, probably, with this pattern. But let's make some better fertilizer. We're still going to go with basic fertilizer, just because I can make so much of it. And we're going to get it down and start thinking about how many um, more fields we want to plant and take care of. So you can see what is being hit by sprinklers and what is not. Pretty straightforward. All right, let me hit that. Let me hit this. Okay, perfect. And I'm going to continue this pattern. Oh. Neo, the dog, is a barking. I hear him. Oops, I forgot to fully charge. There we go. And this is obviously much easier than it used to be doing this. I'm going to keep going all the way. I have the animals to take care of. And we're going to get more money and expand the... The barn situation at some point, more animals, uh, the auto animal grabber, or whatever they call it, the thing that like takes care of your animals. Uh, I'm going to pick that up, yes indeed, because I don't want the scarecrow there. Now I know that if I don't place this correctly, we, we are going to have some scarecrow issues, uh, but I'm honestly not too worried about it. Okay, so... These are just regular sprinklers, so to maximize them, uh, we put them in p places like this. Here we go. So two away, uh, two away, two away, and then this, and then this. And it doesn't quite reach all the way. If we wanted to make this symmetrical, I could put this here, and that would be my last sprinkler. So actually, I'm going to do that. And then I will just have to uh, till straight down like that. And then now we're taken care of. So let's move on to fertilizing all of this. You know what? I just messed up, sort of. Um, I'm going to have to redo it, I think, uh, to fix it. To fix this monstrosity of a situation. We'll get there. But... Basically, this will, row will never get watered with this lineup. So let me adjust that. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to move um, these sprinklers up that are over here. Not these ones, but the ones over this row, and we'll just have to adjust the whole thing. But that's fine. I want to kind of have a nice. All right. Um. This is indeed where that goes. All right. And then we just do it like this. And then this should now take care of everything properly without 
too much insanity. Yes. Okay. And then I'll have to redo this and make some more fertilizer and all that jazz, but we'll get it. And if we ever make more sprinklers, then, well, we know what to do. All right, let's go take care of our animals now. We'll finish the fertilizing on the way back. Oh, my God. I left my animals out overnight. Mercifully, it was um, a nice evening. So nobody bothered us. Everything turned okay. Nobody's upset. Animals all happy. All right, let's go ahead and start milking these fine specimen. Hello, everybody. How are you? Okay. No milk from the goats. I wish there was an easy way to know which goats had milk and which didn't. I mean, I could just remember, but that seems too challenging. All right. Fantastic. Now let's go see. Yeah, they're actually okay with food. And I can leave them out as long as it's going to be a nice day. Right? So maybe if the day gets a little worse, then I adjust. But right now, we're doing great. They've got stuff to eat. Animals happy. All right, let's go into town and bother Pierre about more cauliflower and beans. Oh, we duplicated a diamond successfully. That always feels good. All right. Now, my buddy Point was telling me not to have grass near your field, so I'll get rid of that. Let's look for any foraging. Hey! Terror Kittens, how's it going, my friend? Good to see you. Oh, you're playing Stardew Valley right now? As while you watch? That is awesome. Isn't that great about Stardew Terror that you like you can completely have different farms? I don't know about you, but I chose the Four Corners farm pattern because it is different from any farm I played before because it's from one point patch 1.5. Um, I also like to put my crops right by the house. I don't know if anybody else does that, but I do all my grocery shopping here. Well, good, Lewis. Thank you. All right. So I'm going to buy some more beans. And I'm going to buy some cauliflower. I'm spending a lot of money on this, by the way. Um, but it'll be worth it. I think. All right. I'm going to do this much now. I, I don't know if I need more or not, but I'm going to go with this. Um, all right. Perfect. Oh boy, Terror Kittens, it's past four in the morning. Yes, it does make sense that you're tired, but I'm glad you're doing well, regardless. And when you're just kind of chilling, feeling a little sleepy, but want to play a game, I don't know, Stardew Valley really hits the spot right there. Not aggressive, nice and calm and beautiful. You can vibe out. Alright, I'm going to craft some more sap. Or, I'm sorry, use sap to craft more fertilizer is what I should say. Alright. Let's make sure we're fully fertilized before I get nuts and plant everything. But actually, we're doing okay here. Alright. Walking across. Fertilizing it. And now we're good. So this is a cauliflower row. So let me start here and just keep going. Cauliflower all the way across. And then let me continue this cauliflower row. Good. And then I suppose we would have cauliflower... Um, here as well. 
but we're out now. And let's just keep going with the beans. So I could even put more down. If I m make the money and I feel like it, I could even plant more here. That's awesome, Terra Kittens. Oh, yes, Terra Kittens. It is 100% okay to share screenshots on Discord. Actually, um, uh, uh, some other people have already done that. Uh, so it's it's perfect to do that. Oh my gosh, I forgot I have a greenhouse. They finished building it. I gotta go check it out. Please do share your screenshots. Yeah, I love forests too. Terra Kittens. I, I didn't grow up in them, but I also am just super fond of them. All right, and then let's just continue this bean madness. Beans, 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 bean craziness. All right. Oh, I've missed fertilizing this one square. So let's do that, and then let's get... Oh, not beans. I'm sorry. I got to get rid of that. Oh, God. Not that. This. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me that bean back. This has to be cauliflower. Um, no more beans then uh, over here, but I can fit a few more beans over here. Here we go. Now we're getting there. Okay, perfect. No, that's a good point, Terra Kittens, to... Uh, not want to put up spoilers, but no, we're totally fine. It's a great idea. No, I love the community stuff when people show off their awesome things. It is better safe than sorry, but I think you're right. Um, wow, look at this. So I can plant whatever I want inside here, and it can be from whatever season. Is that what's going on? This looks really cool. I can't wait to uh, utilize this greenhouse. It even has its own watering source inside, which is like super cool. Again, never made it this far in the game. Only played a uh, almost a full year on my Switch uh, a few years ago. And so this is my first time both playing on PC and making it this far into the game. So I'm really happy about it. Oh my gosh, I need to make my cheese. I'm totally off kilter. Ooh, that path right there has been blocked by the, the uh, Scarecrow. I think I have to move that Scarecrow. I don't know if I can have it there. All right. Where's my milk? Here it is. Milk. Milk. There we go. Fantastic. All right. Let me put some of this stuff away. Actually, I'm going to... Well, no, it's okay to have some stuff in here. That's fine. Um, okay. I think in my siege drawer, I'm just going to put these beans in there in case I ever need them again. I have the greenhouse, so what I could do is plant, um, like, a starfruit seed in there and get my starfruit going and then maybe plant uh, ancient seeds in there. And be real fancy? I don't know. Just things to consider. I could also plant the coffee bean in there. I could just plant whatever I want in there, right? Okay. So while this is all being worked on, I want to adjust some stuff here. I need to move this scarecrow away. Hey, hey, nice. Yeah, you're right. The fighting system is not perfect, but it um it is pretty simple. So you, so you can you can get through it when you when you start getting better equipment is how I kind of felt about it. Good job. Level 50 on the mines is awesome. Um, I'm going to put that there. Okay. 
um, 8.30 p.m., so we still have some time. Let me get rid of this. I'm trying to block my way. Let me uh, give Nia the dog a little bit. Let me start. I need to clear up grass. I got to fill up my silo again. Let me check my quarry. Ooh, there's some stuff down here. Perfect. Some gold. A geode. There we go. Fantastic. Let's say hi to Neo. Hello. All right. And then I'm going to go over here and just, you know, sigh the way. There. There. All right. 9.50? Okay, we still have some time. I'm going to close the doors for the animals, though, for now. I don't know if it's going to rain or not tomorrow, so I'd rather not... Uh... Rather not lose them. Or get them upset. Alright, perfect. Okay. That's enough hay gathering. And now, this is what I was c kind of waiting for. Make sure that all of my products get made that I can sell so I can buy some more seeds tomorrow. I really just need to buy some more cauliflower, and then I can start thinking about gathering maybe some wood, checking for iridium. Oh, wait, no, give me those crocuses back. Those are for Maru. Okay. Perfect. Let me see. Let me store some of this wool. Okay. Oh, I can sell that forageable item. I want to put my geode away for the time being. I can always get these back when I need them. I've got some bombs I could take over to the quarry and try to find some iridium or stone because I also want to build. I need to get hardwood. Oh, I have. Maybe I have enough time to get hardwood. No, I don't think I do. I'll get it tomorrow. I can get the hardwood to try to build the stable for the horse, which I'm kind of excited about. Mm -hmm. Sell that one. Looks like I took all the gold ore out. Oh, no, I didn't. I just didn't. There we go. Okay. I'm going to plant this starfruit seed in the greenhouse and see how it does. I'd like to have some more star fruit, you know, as soon as possible. So, I'm just going to put it over here in the corner. Perfect. All right, time to get some Z's. Yeah, Terror Kittens, I was lucky to get, like, some kind of crazy sword uh, over in the desert. But I didn't have that for, you know, most of the mines. But they, they do a good job of, like, eventually unlocking more stuff in the mines that you can get. At least in my opinion, like, with, like, you find better swords and things. And it makes the combat a lot better, especially when you get more defense from boots and things. The spreading weeds have caused damage to your farm. See, I just got the message. And what happened was, I think I had some grass that was too close to my field. And that's what they're talking about with spreading weeds, I think. Uh, 
Oh, that's cool, Terror Kittens. I love little stuff like that. Actually, I should put more torches um, <laughs> on my farm. So when they say spreading weeds have caused damage to my farm, I'm kind of like looking for where they're talking about, and I don't... I don't know that I rightly see it at the moment, but... We'll find out. All right. Hello, animals. We've got ducks. We've got chickens. It's a good day. Here, come, here comes the squad. Oh boy, animals. Do you know how to get refined quartz for making the upgraded water spreaders? Yes, Terra Kittens. Um, I think you have to just take a piece of quartz and use use it in a furnace with coal. I'm pretty sure that's the way to do it. Let me I can double check for you. we go. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh god. There we go. We got some wool. That is another thing I want to do. I need to build cloth. And so to build cloth, I need um, to make this particular machine called a loom. But I need pine tar to do that. Oh, so I got to go check to see if my pine tar came in. All right. Oh, no, these aren't weeds, are they? These are planted seeds. Yeah. All right. Anyway. Um... I'm going to go buy some cauliflower. And I'm going to check my taps to see if they're done and if I got any pine tar. So I can make the loom and start making cloth. That would be amazing. What's this quest? I'm looking for someone to bring me 30 copper ores. All right, 340 gold for that, huh? closed on Wednesdays. You sneaky Pierre. How could you close on me? Dude. Alright, we're gonna get this fixed. We'll take care of this. There's really nothing we can do about it, per se, but I can... If I feel like it, go here, bash this, and then just chop this whole thing out. Make it look real nice. Yes, great, Terra Kittens. I thought I remembered how to do that. Yeah, I believe one of my good buddies told me about that while helping me with the game. Can't remember if it was... JR or Point or Lance or who it was, but they helped. Oh my gosh, look at this. Pine tar and a leak. Yes, we got the pine tar. I've been looking for that. All right, time to build a loom. All right, let me make sure. Is pine tar something that they want at the community center at all? No. Okay. Well, that's fine. Hmm. Oh, awesome, Terra Kittens. My pleasure. I'm so glad that worked. Yes. Bum, 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 bum. All right, we're going down here, taking the old back roads. 
And from this point, I need to I need to start making mayonnaise. Get these things going. There we go. Get the milk in there. Uh-huh. Okay, perfect. And then now I need to think about crafting the loom. And it takes wood, fiber, and pine tar. Perfect. Well, I have that. So I can just go in here and take out some wood and some fiber, and I can now craft a loom. I'll put it back here. I think this is fine. Chop. 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 Smash. Hmm. Axe. There we go. Okay. So let me craft this thing up. Delightful. And that scarecrow takes a lot. All right. I will put a loom right there. And then now, um, to use the loom, I think we just have to have some wool. I have a few pieces. So let's see what it wants. All right. It just takes one at a time. Huh. Uh, maybe I should make another lo uh, loom then, huh? I have another pine tar not too expensive to do this. There we go. I'm not going to make many more than that. I need wood. Okay. So this is looking really, really sharp. I like that. Uh-oh. Maybe this is what they meant by the spreading weeds. Was this one little tile. Oh, you know what, though? I can't get to the these tiles because of the beans. So... It actually works out okay. The sprinklers. Yeah, this is fine. I could put a scarecrow there, I guess, if I really want. There we go. Let's get the mushrooms. I love this summertime, or this spring music, rather. It's awesome. Alright. Now let's go get the hardwood. I want this horse. It's definitely an objective. There we go. It's Wednesday, so I don't think the wagon is here for any kind of magical purchases. It is not, but that's okay. Oh, I gotta take 30 copper over to Clint to make his day. We can do that. Let's go ahead and chop this trunk. Get some hardwood. Let's switch over to the sword. We have these baddies. Oh, there's a morel over here. Great. I will take it. Uh-huh. There it is. There it is. I'll take a wild horseradish. Don't mind if I do. Uh-huh. Here we go. I think you need a hundred hardwood. So, I'm not exactly close. Isn't that right, Terror Kittens? I know. You don't want to accidentally burn down the town with your torch placement. But yeah. Maybe the wizard's involved in all the torch work. Which would explain why there's no fires. Alright. I'm going to just start kind of gathering up some stone and wood around here. I do still need that. At some point, it makes sense to build uh, another barn 
maybe if I wanted to get really deep into pigs or cows. But I hear that pigs are the, the big money maker, so... Hey, G, what's up, my friend? Good to see you. How you doing? There we go. Good evening, G. I'm just blasting away. Taking what the game gives us. Lumber. I'm on the lookout for any worms as well. All right. Awesome, G. I'm glad to hear it. Yeah, exactly. There's a wizard living in the tower, Terror Kittens. It's gotta be magic. And magic is great. I'm a huge fan of magic. Everything magical. Not the most efficient way to gather these resources, but it gathers them. Hey, hey, Lance. Good evening. How you doing? Oh, gee, you must have been... You must have just, uh... Missed streams with terror kittens. We're in year two, Lance. All right, let me loop around here. Let me just cheat. Like, sometimes there's good foraging stuff down here, and I want to keep my eyes open for worms or foraging things. Now, there's a spring onion. Nothing wrong with that. Wild horseradish. Here we go. We're finding some okay stuff. I want to see what the vendor is selling. I think they sell an iridium sprinkler. No, no, no I don't want to change professions. Humans have interesting tastes, indeed. Yes. All right, so... They are selling albacore. Um, I honestly think I need that. I don't know what this wicked statue is. I hope so, Lance. That's what I'm hoping for. Right, I'm going to buy one of those, and then we'll call it a day. No, I must have already turned the albacore in. Um, so my inventory is full, and I'm good to go. But I'm with you, Terra Kittens. Pigs, 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 Lance. All right, we're going to go all pigs for truffles. I hear that's where the money is, and I need the monies. That's so nice of you, Terra Kittens. I'm with you 100%. I play games also to just relax and unwind f from real-life stuff. And they're a great, peaceful way to calm myself. And it's also fantastic to just get to hang out with pleasant people such as yourself and 
share our love and stories and knowledge about these games to make them more fun. Oh, inventory full. My God. All right, let me dump in the, the base ingredient stuff. Put all that back so I don't lose it. I'm going to put my big... There we go. Pile of wood back so I don't accidentally lose all that. And my fiber. Um, I think this looks okay. I have a box here for these things. Monster stuff can go in there. That's gold. Um, seeds, anything like that goes here. Fish. So I guess I have an albacore. I'll put it right in here. Now we're ready. That's right, Lance. I've got to get money so I can uh, provide a nice place for Maru to, uh, to live. All right, I've got cloth. It's artisanal goods. Don't need this at the community center, but um, I could probably sell it. But I kind of want to hang on to my cloth for now. I don't know if you can, like, craft it into anything else or if it's a a necessary ingredient for other items, so I'm just going to keep it. There we go. Now, I'm also going to put my sap away. I think I've fertilized well enough. And I'll put away my fertilizer in this drawer here. I'll put the wool, or the cloth, rather, down here. Hey, hey, Reuben! Hello, my friend. How are you doing? Good to see you. I'm gonna... I got some more wool, so I'm gonna throw these babies on. You know what, though? I've got the sap. I should make torches. What do you need? You need sticks? You need just, like, wood and sap or something? You need wood and sap. Indeed, you do. All right, let's make some torches. Let's follow Terra Kitten's advice and just put up some... Oh, I have some torches just in lying around. I'm very lucky. All right, let's, let's light this place so that it's a little bit more user-friendly. Uh-huh. There we go. There we go. I like that. I gotta close the doors for my animals. Don't know what tomorrow's gonna bring. Now, did they eat the food? No, we're good. Um, where do I live? I live in the United States, G, in a state uh, in the Midwest. Lance says you can use cloth, cloth to craft fun and unique clothing items at Emily's sewing machine. Now, that sounds cool. Yeah, you got that right, Terror Kittens. Your torch idea has it got me inspired for sure. All right, this is looking good. Oh, you're from Sweden, Terror Kittens. That explains the time difference. Well, that's... See, listen to this. This is so great. This is what I love about streaming and the internet. You know, we've got people... All over the world. Hours and hours apart, but able to just hang out and chat Stardew. Alright, let me get to sleep before the world breaks. Alright, I sold some good stuff. I got some cash. I can finally buy the rest of the cauliflower that I was looking for. Portugal, Ruben. Awesome. So look at this. We've got Lance's in southern U.S. I'm in northern U.S. Ruben is in Portugal. G's in Canada. And Terra Kittens is in Sweden. That is sensational. Love it. Oh. It's Emily. Hey, Dr. Incompetent. Good morning. Hello, Emily. You seem to be doing well. The farm looks great. Thanks, Emily. Her smile is infectious, isn't it?
yeah, it really is Terror Kittens. I actually, I'm kind of like you. I like both. I like streaming and, and doing live stuff, um, but I also like watching VODs, like, on my own time, you know, and just chilling out. So you've been here a while, and I'm sure you've acquired some cloth by now, right? There, it, I must have triggered her coming once I made cloth. That's right, Emily. I did make some cloth. Well, did you know that you can use cloth to tailor all kinds of clothes? All you need is access to a sewing machine. And I happen to have one at home. Feel free to swing by and use it anytime. Thanks, Emily. Emily's like the nicest person. Now, if she charges me for it, then we have another thing coming, but... To start tailoring, you'll need a piece of cloth and a secondary item. Experiment and see what unique styles are out there. All right, cool. So just as Lance said, we can use Emily's sewing machine and now we have access. 